Through the magic power of editing, I've gone through and I've sold a bunch of junk to the Pokemon Center. So we can now go ahead and head up to Route 7 with uh, a little bit of extra cash in my pockets. Uh, did I ex Oh, I haven't gone into here yet, have I? The Carolina has three captains that expired. Yeah, 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 okay, I spoke to you. I haven't gone into here yet. You're going to the Dimensional Research Lab, aren't you? Anyone can tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. Why have a receptionist then? Uh, you're going to the Dimensional Research Lab. If you're in luck, if you're out, if you're out of luck, the professor you just missed her. Try again some other time. Never mind then. I mean, she, she couldn't have said when I went up to the reception desk. Sorry, the professor's out right now. No, she had to wait until they tried to walk to the elevator to then be like. Oh no, sorry, the professor's out. Sorry to get your hopes up, small child. <sighs> Typical goddamn receptionist. Cushy job, sitting there doing nothing all day. Why is Rotom sad? Hold on, let me hit Rotom. Which you prefer, Miki? Cute Pokemon or powerful Pokemon? Cute Pokemon. Cute Pokemon, I heard. They did mention Rotom are considered one of the most adorable Pokemon. Hey, no. Screw you, Rotom. I've always said, if Pokemon were real, I would have, you know, I already, I already know the team that I would have. Uh, Pikachu, Umbreon, Blaziken, Milotic, Mimikyu, and Grookey. Most of those Pokemon are just cute Pokemon that I would love to just live with, you know, and just be friends with. I don't need super powerful Pokemon. Blaziken's my powerful Pokemon for battling. The rest of them are just there to be super cute. <laughs> I forgot about these guys down here. <laughs> If I go out the good ability, yeah, okay. It's like sometimes something bad can make you stronger. It's good to be bad, yeah. God, I love them. Team Skull. I'm, I almost said they should bring back Team Skull, but no, no, they shouldn't because. Hey, there's Magmar. I'm guessing that's probably a photo opportunity here, then, right? Wait, Love Volcano Park doesn't need a trial site for the Island Challenge. You must go if you don't see Captain Kiawe's dancing. Now go up to the volcano. No, I want to go to the beach. Route 7. Ahead lies the Dividing Peak Tunnel. So that's the place I go next. I remember that much. Uh, you are a trainer? No. Maybe you catch some rare Pokemon from rock piles that spunk bubbles sometimes. Yeah, about that. Um... This is a new route, so I can catch some more Pokemon. But I don't want... Actually, I see on the bottom screen that I can keep going that way. But I don't want... Wa I know it sounds dumb that I don't want water-type Pokemon, considering we're about to face, like, you know, a fire trial. But where's where's the photo spot? Not here. Okay. Whaler Volcano Park. Okay. So wait, what was that place? Route 7. Okay, so... Uh, I don't want to fish. Tell you what, if I end up getting a water Pokemon, then it's fate. If not, we're going to see what we get across here. Never mind, it's a water Pokemon. God damn it. I really didn't actually want a water Pokemon. <gasps> the Pukamuku, okay. Huh. Miki, I've never seen this Pokemon. Yeah, you haven't seen most Pokemon. Technically, most Pokemon don't exist in this universe. They've been magically warped here from the ROM hack. So we're going to get a Pukamuku. That's not great. I kind of wish I had used the, um, the Rappel. But I thought, ah, uh, well, whatever. If we get another water Pokemon, it's not. No skin off my back. And then we get a Pukamuku. I mean, Pukamuku's cool and all, but not, not great. I think it's a water poison too, which means, like, if I was going to get a water poison Pokemon, I would want Marini. That's the water po poison Pokemon I want. Lily grew to level 34! Lily might evolve. I'm not sure. Hey! Look at that! Lily is evolving! Before I even open up the Pokedex, hell yeah. Are those shurikens? <gasps> Decker do I! Des... Des... Desi do... Des... 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 Desi do I... Desi do I? 
Decidui. I don't know how to pronounce this Pokemon. I like that Dartrix looks like it's dabbing. <laughs> I completed this page. Oh, Diggy, look at you. At least my at least my starter Pokemon made it to its f third stage for once. Decidui is the Arrow Quill Pokemon. It knocks its Arrow Quills and shoots them at its opponent. When it when it simply can't afford to miss, it tugs the vine on its head to improve its focus. What vine? Oh, like its little hoodie. I also don't like that it's like its beak is so small. It feel I feel like its beak should be bigger. This do I want to learn? Spirit Shackle? Um What? Excuse you? Use attacks while simultaneously stitching the target shadow to the ground to prevent the target from escaping. I'll get rid of Ominous Wind, because that sounds cool as hell. Man, Ghost Moves just sounds so cool. Ominous Wind and now Spirit Shackle. Psycho Cox? Whoa! Lily getting the type coverage out here. Use a tears of it with blades formed by psychic power. Critical hits land more easily. Uh, we got Razor Leaf that does 55 damage and does the same thing. I would rather get rid of Razor Leaf, even though it's a stab move. So it would be, what, like 70... 50, what's half 55? 27? Yeah, roughly, roughly 27. It would be like 70-something. It's still probably better to have the type coverage. There's Pukamuku. Pukamuku does not evolve, and I'm pretty sure it's water poison. No, it's just pure water. The tradition known as Pukamuku chucking started from when a custom of throwing Pukamuku back into the sea after they washed the shore. Wow, don't don't make this Pokemon sound like cool or anything. I see how it is. Uh you're gonna be named Um That name doesn't fit. Uh, Pip. You may name Pip. And I like that the next name on my list is my own name. In its out. What does this do again? Damages the attacker, landing the finishing hit by the amount equal to its last HP. So basically, if your if Pukamuku is about to die, it does damage to the Pokemon. That's not a good ability, buddy. We're going to have to change that. But you go ahead and go to the box. Let's bag... Um, let's put down a repel. There we go. Really hoping to get something cool on Route 7, and instead we get a water Pokemon. I can't go this anyway, anyway. But I can go up here, apparently. Uh, I guess it's this way? I mean, I was hoping to get some non- What the hell? Oh, okay, these are Pokemon. Um, is there grass or something around that I can maybe get a Pokemon from? Uh, I'll, I'll get rid of that. Alright, so I can either go for something in the dust, or I can go for a water-type Pokemon from, like, there. I, f I feel like I'm going to risk the dust. I mean, this is all that's on the route. Like, I'm looking at the bottom screen now, and, like, I don't see any grass or anything, so it's like... <sighs> Let's get something from the dust. Let's see what we're going to get. I, I imagine it's probably going to be a ground-type Pokemon, so... It's a Diglett! We already have one. We already caught one last episode. Sorry, Diglett. Sorry, buddy. I mean, you're stronger than the, the Diglett we just caught earlier, but, you know. Can't, can't get two Diglets, I'm afraid. Thankfully. Are you going to be a Diglett? You are going to be a Diglett. Okay, so I feel like... I feel like this is only going to be Diglets. In which case, I guess I'm going to get a second Water-type Pokemon. I mean, I saw that there was a... Uh, so what, let's... We use one more repel. One more repel. There we go. 
we will go and take a look what is over this direction. That's a trainer and that's a Pokeball. I want that. I want that. An antidote. That was not worth it. Alright, what is up here? Um, hidden item? Hidden item? No? Well, whatever then. Uh, that's a trainer. That's a HM. I mean, a TM. Double team! Completely useless. Going over here was not worth it at all. Um... You know what? Let's fish. Let's find. Let's fish for once and see what we can get as our second Pokemon for this route. Nothing seems to be biting. Okay, never mind. Let's try again. <laughs> Nothing seems to be biting. All right, third time to charm. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> fourth time. Fourth's the best. Come on. Fourth time. Fourth time. Fifth time. Here we go. Fifth time. Oh wait, it's because it's not bubbling, right? Oh shit, no, never mind. Woo! I pressed the wrong button. It's a wishy-washy, goddammit. <sighs> I didn't exactly want a wishy-washy. So all we got was a Pukumukui and a wishy-washy from this route. What a complete waste of a route catch. Two terrible catches in a row. Take down, that could do actually quite a bit of damage. Be careful, Hara, you're fine. And Wishy Wash will just keep hurting itself if it does that. That's alright with me. Um, Well, you're going to be named Drake, because that is the next name on my list. And then the name after Drake is my own name. It's Miki. And I don't know if I'm going to name a Pokemon Miki, considering Trainer Miki. I don't know if Pokemon Miki would be... There's Pokemon Trainer Miki, which is me right here. I don't know if Pokemon Miki should be a thing. <laughs> Although if I get a Pikachu, you're damn right it's going to be named Mikichu. Damn it! Come on, Wishy Washy. Did I, um... Did I get a Pikachu in, in the Singing Sapphire playthrough? I feel like I did. I know I got a cosplay Pikachu at some point. Because you... You, uh, you get that no matter what in the story. I don't remember if I caught, like, a Pikachu on its own, though. I know I got a Pichu, right? Yes, I got a, I caught a Pichu, and I named that Mikichu, from what I remember. I feel like... Alright, yeah, you heal yourself, whatever, that's fine. But, like, the only time I'm going to name Pokemon after myself is if it's a Pikachu, because I love Pikachu. Oh, wishy-washy, come on. Keep using takedown, please. Thank you. That was actually a lot of damage there from that takedown. You're going to heal yourself too. That's fine, buddy. It means a slightly, slightly lesser chance of you killing yourself. I don't exactly want you to kill yourself using takedowns, but I want you to, to weaken yourself enough that you can get caught. I also don't want you to kill Hara, ideally. That would be very, very bad if you killed Hara. Wish you actually called for help. And nothing appeared. Good. Is Wish you even a good Pokemon? Like, the, the design is kind of cool, especially in this form, but it's not... Brian, uh, you have Brian too, don't you, Hara? Yeah, you got Brian too, so that's fine. I mean, when I was like, okay, Route 7, gonna get some cool Pokemon. Nope, you're gonna get a Pukamuku and a Wishy Washy. I should have just surfed, honestly. Fishing, fishing was a mistake. I'm gonna check the documentation after recording this episode, and I'm gonna see there was like some secret grass I didn't see, and it would be like, hey, this is where you get. Uh, Mewtwo. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, of course, of course. I miss out on getting cool Pokemon for a Wishy Washy and a Pukamuku. Alright, Drake. Let's see what your Pokedex entry is. 
They're, they're weak as they move in schools, however, they can often be seen all alone, having strayed from the school. Nice. That's that's what I want. That's what I want to see in the Pokédex entry for Pokémon I just caught. They are weak. There you go, Drake. Check your summary. I'm probably probably the school thing, right? Yep, schooling. I'm pretty sure that's the only ability you can have. So, Drake, you're probably going to live in the PC box forever and probably not get used. I'm afraid. But I don't want to battle you. This, this coming up here was just not worth it at all. Watch as I find a really cool water type Pokemon now. Never mind. All right, let's get some actually good Pokemon here on um, Whaler Park. Or Whaler Volcano Park, whatever it's called. Yeah, Whaler Volcano Park. Whaler Volcano Park. The fire burns bright and hot here. All right. Um, I guess this is the only bit of grass I can... Oh, there's more grass. Okay. You can use the free space in your bag to help you better organize your items. Yeah, I know that. I'm not dumb. Uh, should we try this grass? Or should we try a different bit of grass? I want to try this bit of grass. I mean, leading with Hara here is going to be good too, because, uh, water type Pokemon, of course. Let's see what we get. It's a Salandit. If this is not a female Salandit, this is a wasted catch too. Male Salandit cannot evolve. Watch it be male. Oh, it's male! Ugh. Well, this Salandit is useless. It can't evolve, which means it can't increase its stats. Which means it is a wasted Pokemon. I'm sorry, Salandit. I honestly don't care if this Salandit kills itself off me. I would rather it kill itself than to take up a space in my PC because it will never ever be used. This thing is like a poison fighting, no, poison fire type from what I remember. And it's just, I've not, I've not had good luck today with catches. And there's seagulls outside. Catching a seagull would be more useful. And I'm not talking about Wingull, I'm talking about an actual real life seagull would be more useful than a male Salandit. Man, I'm just thinking, like, imagine if you tried to shiny hunt a Slendit, and then you got a male. You got a male shiny Slendit. After hours and hours of shiny hunting, you end up getting a male one. Same with, uh, same with Combi. Only female Combi can evolve into Vesper Queen. Imagine getting a shiny male Combi. Shiny male Combi. Shiny male Slendit. Um, are there any other gender-specific evolutions? I honestly can't think of it. I can't think of any male ones. I know there, there are female ones. And I'm not talking about like Meow Stick where it changes its form based on its gender. I'm talking about like actually is there a poke? Are there more poke? And I'm also not talking about Nidorana and Nidorano because they're two different Pokemon from the same. Like if, if Nidoran came out nowadays, Nidoran would evolve into Nidorana or Nidorano based on if it was male or female. It'd be just one Nidoran. There wouldn't be two Nidoran male and Nidoran female. But I honestly think they only make separate evolutions for female Pokemon, like Combi and Salandit. Like, I can't think of any male-specific ones. <sighs> well, we got a Salandit, I guess. Cool. I'm sorry, Salandit. You... You're not gonna get used. That second space is going to be empty on the Pokedex for a long time. You know what, maybe I'll use you for the grass trial. Poison fire, the males will do whatever the females tell them. They get, they give their females most of their food due to malnutrition the males can't evolve. Mmm, so glad I got a male Slandit, that's cool. Um, I'm looking at the names here. Uh, let's go for, no, that, that would work for an electric Pokemon. Jason, Jason's a name in here. There you go, Jason. Let's have a look at some ace land it. We've got Corrosion. This Pokemon can poison the target even if it's steel or poison type. That's actually a really cool ability. I think I'll, I think I'll use Slandit for the grass trial, but, um... 
But now you're going to the box, buddy. Sorry. Let's go try this bit of grass, because hopefully we find something better in here. Give me a give me a shiny to make up for that. It's a fletching? Huh. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Fletching is uh fletching evolves into Fletchinder. And then evolves into Tano Flame, which, you know, fire type Pokemon for the grass trial. Fire flying for the grass trial would be really, really good. Um I'm I'm happy with fletching. I'm kind of annoyed I didn't get Magmar to show that guy at the um at the the, the, the hotel, but whatever. And fletching is even in the Pokedex, wow. Alola has more than one bird Pokemon per Pokedex. The Akala Island Pokedex is starting to fill up. Not a bad start, kiddo. Not bad at all. Fletching is the Tiding Robin Pokemon. While it's admirable as a Pokemon, if you touch it unexpectedly, it will heat up its body in an instant and you'll be burned. That's what I like to see. Fletching, you're going to be nicknamed... Um... Uh... Edge. Edge. Actually, Edgewoods is the name. There's Edgewoods. Uh, let's check your summary real quick. You got big pecs, which is really, really good. Protects the Pokemon from defense lowering abilities. Not too bad. Um, I don't really think that Edgewood would be like a permanent member of the team or anything. So, wait, why is there just a rock here I can break? Excuse you? Hold on. There's something here? Oh, it's a totem sticker. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, Edgewood, if, if, it, if I was playing this game normally, I would want one with Flame Body, because then I could hatch eggs. And considering you don't use eggs in Nuzlocke Run, Flame Body's kind of useless. Although I think Flame Body has like an actual, like, in battle effect. I think it boosts like fire type moves. I think. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's Chargo. Show me your Pokemon. Let me see them. Let me let me see the sights. All right. Is this the first po This is the first Pokemon battle I've done in today's recording session. Like the last. Well, I guess the last episode had the uh, the battle royale, but that was it. This episode is just gonna probably have this battle. God. Um. Go for a brine, buddy. Don't fall for the taunt. Don't fall for the taunt. Don't fall for the taunt. You fell for the taunt. Now you can only use brine. Which isn't too bad, considering it actually did quite a bit of damage. Like, I can't use ball beam, right? I can use ball beam. What does taunt do, then? Is it damage only moves? Am I, am I, uh, am I misremembering what taunt does? I'm thinking of Encore, I think, and Encore is the one that makes it so you use the same moves over and over and over again. Uh, we will heal you, Hara, just very, very quickly, because I expect you'll probably get hit by a bullshit move and just lose all of your health otherwise, so... I, I don't remember how much... I don't remember how much health you went up to. And if that would have saved you or not, but uh, let's just hit another bull beam, finish it then. Screech, that's fine. You go ahead and screech me all you want. Not going to affect Hara at all because you have competitive. There goes your special attack. Hell yeah. Which means bubble beam, bubble beam is going to do even more damage. Not that I'm really going to keep you out, I don't think. I mean, uh, 50. Depends on what she sends out. Venonat. Venonat is poison bug. You know what? You stay out. You stay out. You stay out. This thing might have... I was going to say leech life, but leech life is a bug move, so that's fine. We're going to hit it with peck. It being poison bug, it should be super effective. Perfect. Not a lot of damage, though. Kind of want Hera to evolve this episode. So I could have uh, Destuai and Empoleon in the same episode. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, come on, 50-50 chance. Signal Beam, Bug Move, you can take that. There we go. You're paralyzed and can't move. Okay. Let's 
try, try again, try again. Not much damage, and there's pack. Good, good, good. Um. I. Uh, you know, what, we're just gonna switch you out. We're gonna switch you out. Let's go with uh, Lily. Let's see Lily in action now that you're at Death's Do I. After this episode, I'm gonna go look up how to pronounce this Pokemon's name properly. I feel like it's Desidui, but it probably isn't. <laughs> we will just hit a pluck and... There we go. Good job. Good job, buddy. Oh, Venonat's eyes go out when it dies. That's so sad. Oh, well. Oh my gosh, I lost to a Trago at the authentic Alolan experience. Look at her face. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've got to see Kiawe's fire dance with Pokemon. Um, Rotom wants me to save, but I'm going to ignore him down there. You a trainer? I'm the curious of the Seismic Sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. This cave here leads to the top of the volcano, just so you know. Is this a new route? No, it's not. Uh, sorry, I have to say, I have to say no to Rotom. Alright, this is the trial site, okay. Good job making it this high. Why don't we heal your Pokemon for you? Oh, thank you. You're going to go back down the mountain. You can cut through the tunnel right there. You're going to try your hand at the fire trial. You should at least have some Pokemon that can use water, ground, or rock type moves. Yep, yep. Um, I can jump down there, but I don't see a way to get back up. Let's just do it. Screw it. Oh, okay. So it makes me go... So this is like an actual place where you can explore. I also love that I can go so close to the lava. It's like... Yeah, let me touch it. Let me touch it. Oh my god, look how high up I am. I can see the clouds. That's cool. I'm the prettiest of the Seismic Sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. Happy light to the right side of the volcano, just so you know. Okay. I'm the most charming of the Seismic Sisters, a trio of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. The path leads to the left side of the volcano, just so you know. Alright, this well, that's a trainer. That's an ace trainer. Or a... Um, no, it's an ace trainer. It's a Magby. Do, oh god, I have to use my gym catch before the uh, the next trial, right? Do I need to use my gym catch before the next trial? Alright, I'm going to use my... This is this... Oh, not gym catch. Sorry, trial catch. This is my trial catch because I'm pretty sure that I need a Magmar for the, the quest. So I'm going to catch it even if I don't catch... Even if I don't need it. I mean, Magmar... Magmar's still really pretty cool to have. So I'm, I'm not too disappointed if I don't actually need a Magmar for the trial. I will use a Magmar for the, for the grass trial. Magmar, Fletching, Fletchling, um, Salandit. That's already three of my Pokemon picked out for me. Oh, Magmar, I was just getting, I was just about to pull up my list of names. I, I was just thinking, I don't know if I actually like the Trials or not. when you think I got so many Pokemon stockpiled and like when you compare this to the Sinking Sapphire playthrough the first gym I lost one Pokemon I think one or two Pokemon second gym I lost all but one Pokemon I lost five Pokemon in that one gym battle you know and then for the third gym which was the electric gym that was a really tough fight as well. I remember I lost Chansey that I spent all that time training up. I had like no Pokemon good against it and I was really worried for it. Like, gym battles are a lot more of a challenge than these trials are. I think the reason one of the reasons why I don't I haven't lost as many Pokemon so far compared to that playthrough is just because the trial, the Totem Pokemon is just one Pokemon. 
you know, that you had to battle, and it is really buffed up and strong. And I, you know, I did cheese the last one using the, um, the double buff. Which, uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do it this time, we'll see. But it's like, Jim Bao's, there was six Pokemon all specifically tailored out to face you. You know, um, uh, oh god, I forgot the name of the guy who made it now. Driano! Driano specifically chose out six Pokemon that are really tough and gave them IV and EV spreads, or IV spreads, or uh, not IV spreads, sorry, good IVs and it, and move spreads to like cover every type that will be strong against it. And then gave them items too and beneficial natures and then they start to mega evolve. It's like... They were a real challenge, and they were something that I dreaded going against. Whereas the Trials, they're just kind of like... Alright, it's the Fire Trial. Uh, I guess I'm going to get a bunch of Water Pokémon, and then I'll... Oh, God damn it. And then I'll, uh, I'll cheese the... Uh, you just hit Melt Corn out, dude. And then I'll cheese the, um, the, the Totem Pokémon with my Rotom, Rotom stuff. And then that'll be it. You know, I've said before that I might not be losing a lot of Pokémon. Why am I using Malakor? It's a Fire-type Pokémon. I'm stupid. Um... Yeah, while I may not be losing a lot of Pokémon now, the issue is, is that later on, wild Pokémon get super strong. Like, you can see that these Magmars are level 29. That's still pretty close to my levels right now. And this is just wild Pokémon. Eventually, Wild Pokemon get up into their 90s and 100s on the final island. Oh, Hara, you gotta be careful. I want you to evolve, not to kill yourself. It's... Uh, yeah. Alright, you get you get some healing. You get... Um, take the Moomin look, buddy. There we go. Yeah, Wild Pokemon get into their 90s and 100s, so it's gonna be like a pain. I won't be able to run away from a lot of them. Unless I specifically give a Pokemon um, Smoke Bomb, or Smoke Ball, whatever it's called, to get away. Oh, and you're poisoned too, really? <sighs> Hara, come on. I've already called this my gym cat, or my trial catch. So yeah, and um, I've also seen that in the documentation, all of the... Um... <sighs> Am I going to have to heal you for this? No, you should be okay. As long as you kill this Magby, you should be okay. I'm hoping the burn doesn't kill you, but um, eventually you have to face the tr uh, the the trial leaders, and they have full teams of six Pokemon to like make up for the lack of um, uh, gyms and stuff. And their teams are all level 100. Like this is end game stuff that you battle them. So like, if I'm stockpiling Pokemon right now, they are going to die super late. In this. The end of this playthrough is going to be a massacre. I'm going to spend all this time getting to really close to all these Pokemon. Like, you know, Darkness, who won the last trial for us, is probably going to sit in a PC eventually, come out for a battle against a trial leader, and then just get wiped out. And it'll be like, oh man, remember when Darkness won us the water trial? That was good times, now you're dead. So, I mean, I, I don't really like that I'm stuck piling a Pokemon so much, but I know, I know that I'm going to lose a ton of Pokemon later on. It's just, it's inevitable. Come on! Magby, Magby, yeah Magby, yeah Magby, Magby, don't call for help, buddy, listen. I know it's going to call for help. No, it's not, okay. <sighs> we got to heal. One more time. There we go. Magby, buddy, listen. Oh, I just realized I could probably Metal Claw it and it'll be fine, considering I Metal Clawed the, uh, the female Magby. But then Hera's confused, so it's probably going to hurt myself. <sighs> um, I'll just keep trying to throw Pokeballs, that's fine. I mean, I really hope that this guy wants a Magmar now, because I'm going through all this effort just to get a Magmar. I'm going to have to, like train this magma off camera level up its friendship 
I'm pretty sure they evolved from friendship, right? Right? Yeah, might, might be evolved from friendship. Might be evolved from friendship. That's fine. Come on, Maggie. Come on, Maggie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm watching you. Damn it. Magby, just get in the Pokeball, please. I feel like I'm literally on the volcano right now because it's so hot. I am sweating and I want to turn my fan on that I have to turn off to record or it'll get picked up. I want to end this episode so I can turn my fan on and stop sweating, Magby. Please. Please. Oh, thank God. All right. Thank you, Magby. Thank you. I guess Hyra isn't going to evolve this episode, that's fine. But Magby's data will be added to the Pokedex. If we can get Magmorda, Magmorda is so cool. I love Magmorda. And Electivire. Magby is the live call Pokemon. When flames drip from its nose, it means it has a cold. Have it lie down in a nice rest in some magma. Um... I don't trust the small child that wrote that Pokedex entry. But you are going to be nicknamed, um... How do I say this name? Aldrich? Aldrich, like that? Yes, Aldrich. There we go. Uh, let's check your summary before I finish this off. Flame Body, not, not a great one. We'll probably change your ability eventually, but you will go to the box. Uh, I do not want to battle. Uh, I don't want to battle you. Don't don't look at me. 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 Turn around already. There we go. Oof. Can I get down here? Nope. I go this way. Okay. There we go. It's better be worth it. There's a picture here, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it next time. I'm going to battle the uh, the Ace Trainer next time. Ah. There we go. I don't want to battle anyone else. I just want to. I just want to get up to heal my Pokemon. Hara's already pretty damn hurt. Ooh, a Pokeball. A Burn Heal. That's that would be useful if I didn't have like a million of them already. That secret item. Nope. Free heals. Free heals. Free heals. Thank you. Good job being here this high. Why don't we heal your Pokemon? Thank you. If you want to go back down the mountain, you can cut through the tunnel right here. I do not. Next time, we are going to either go up this hill, or we're going to go to the left and go battle the Ace Trainer, and I just realized I'm still angry. I am very, very angry, because it's so hot. <laughs> next time, we're either going to go up this hill, or we're going to go to the left. But we'll find out next time.